Rush Hour, the chaos of big city life. I can't even get a breath of fresh air anymore. With some room to move around. Lifeless buildings and skyscrapers everywhere. This is my home for most of the day. My cube. Nothing but cold numbers and paperwork. I feel trapped in a concrete jungle. And it's slowly draining the joy out of my life. I used to be happy and free. Nothing beats the open country. The poetry of the wind crafting a rhyme on every tree and mountain. The applause of the leaves celebrating harmony. I won't find that in here. I'm done with this rat race, wasting my best days sitting at a desk under fluorescent lights swapped in paperwork. I don't know what happens tomorrow, but I do know I have my two hands and the open wilderness. I'm home, the open country. everyone, Bo here from BZ Hub, and I tell you what, today is a fantastic day because we have been given a new game by 505 Games, and that is Open Country. Now this is going to be pretty cool. There's a lot of new things that we don't get to see in a lot of hunting and fishing games out there right now. You know, when you think about hunting games, Call of the Wild, when you think about fishing games, maybe Fishing Planet or the Fishing Simulator or something like that, Russian Fishing if you will. You're hunting in one game, you're fishing in another game, but what if you could combine them together into a fishing and hunting game and throw in some survival skills and camping and that sort of stuff, as well as have maybe a storyline, who knows, you know, it could be pretty cool and that's what you're going to experience with open country, not only that, but then kind of a new art style that you also don't really see in too many games uh, these days, at least hunting and fishing. So I'm excited, let's stop talking about it, let's get into single player and try this out. First off, we have a character creation. This is pretty cool. So we can uh, s s choose male, I suppose. Look at the different faces here. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Which one looks more like me? That is the question. Let's go with this guy. Skin tone, a little, little bit lighter there. We'll go uh, with that hair. Which one looks more like my hair? Where's the guy with the hat? That's, that's usually me. We'll go with the first one, I suppose. It's probably closest. Uh, darker hair, yeah, that's about right. We'll go with that. And facial hair. Well, don't have much for facial hair right now, but we'll, uh, we'll just go with the full beard. Call her good, I guess. This is me now. Can't you see? The, yeah, looks just like me, I think, anyway. Here we go. Let's get into the game. Hello. What brings you around these isolated parts? I've been on the road for a while now. I could use a place to rest before moving on. Gary Kent's my name, and fighting to keep this place alive is my game. They can get a bit wild out there, but everyone's welcome to my crumbling wilderness accommodations. Get I saw this place by the road, and I thought I'd check to see if you have any rooms. Well, as a matter of fact, my Snow Ridge Lodge takes great pride in being a place of friendly shelter, but alas, as you can see, these are hardly premium conditions. Well, hey, now that you mention it, the place could do with a few light touches here and there. No need to sugarcoat it. The place has seen better days. You know, I think I'm gripped by a spontaneous liking of you. Here's my proposal. You look like someone that can handle the wilds. I'm not as young as I used to be, and this here establishment is falling apart under my very eyes. I'll let you refuel and stay for free if you help me out with a few outdoor tasks. Sounds like just the sort of thing I've been looking for. <laughs> I appreciate your willingness to help. In fact, let's throw you straight into earning your stay. Well, you really lost no time putting me to work. Pretty cool. Sounds like we're going to be helping this guy out, uh, kind of put this place together. So, yeah, you can see he's got a kind of a bar going on down here. Pool table hasn't been used in a few years. Pretty, uh, 
Looks a little dusty, a little worse for wear. A lot of boxes and stuff over here. But I used to serve sushi on this wood platter. <laughs> you got a jukebox though. Hey, they're good. And uh, I've been playing darts. Good to see. Oh, there's a fox. The sly fox. Small game traps and hunting equipment. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, we can interact with uh, characters or maybe go outside. Let's see. I need you to deliver a package to a friendly neighborhood ranger. His name is Adam Douglas Ainsley. Mm, but never call him Douglas. He can't stand that. Uh-huh. And where might Ranger Ainsley be at? He's been out and about somewhere between Mellow Meadow and Green Hoof Sanctuary. And how am I going to find him? Here, take this walkie-talkie. You can use this little gadget to contact him. My advice is to go there and call out to him. He'll answer and guide you from there. Okay, I'm on it. Right on. So, uh, we got some stuff here. We got our walkie-talkie and, uh, should be able to go find this ranger now. All right, up the stairs we go. The hub door. Hey, BZ hub door right here. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so Mellow Hills, I believe that's where you said we were going to find this guy. It looks like we're going to be, oh, we can't even choose the other places yet. So looks like we're heading out to the Mellow Hills, everyone. Uh, we can, oh, we can take a look at the map here. Got some uh, lakes and streams and stuff. Red Lake, Red Rock, Panorama View, uh, Ruined Cabin. Yes, a uh, panorama view is where we can travel to. So here we go. All right. Well, there we go. Out into the wilderness. Here we are. Uh, we got a flashlight. Got our binoculars and water bottle. Uh, uh, backpack, walkie-talkie. We're we're set. We are set. We got our RV where we can sleep and interact. Oh, we can travel. That's what interact. Okay. Sounds good. Ooh, armadillo. Let's see, I can see, we kind of have like a compass up above, it almost looks like. We can kind of see where we're traveling. Let's uh, let's keep going this way. Oh, got some, what are those? What were those? Oh, berries bush. Blueberries. Look at that, we're already foraging. Just got out here. This guy just got out of the city, into the forest. We're already foraging. He's, uh, he's like, oh yeah, I remember this from Boy Scouts. I'm so ready for this. And this looks like the place. I should use the walkie-talkie to contact the ranger. Okay, so we can use the walkie-talkie by pressing the middle scrolly wheel. Use to highlight the walkie-talkie. Press that on the walkie-talkie. Okay. Oh, there you go. Hello, ranger Ainsley. Pretty easy. Are you there? Ainsley here. I've been waiting for you to make contact. I need you to set up a camp in the area. You should find plenty of wood and materials. I'll call you tomorrow and give you further instructions. It's over. All right, I guess I'll get on with setting up that camp then. <laughs> this guy. Hey, I was told to come meet you. Ah, oh, yeah, thanks. I've been waiting to hear from you. Set up a camp and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. okay. Totally sounds like you've been waiting for me if you're gonna wait to come see me tomorrow. Holy crap. Okay, so here we go. Resources needed for improvised tinder. We need a branch, we need leaves, a hatchet, and a knife. There's a cloth loot crate here. They've left some stuff by this abandoned, this abandoned, ca it's not really a cabin, is it? It's just a big old building. What do we got? Oh, oh, tools. There's tools over here. Mushrooms. Okay, stone knife. Thank you. Proper rope. Now that's proper. All right, stone hatchet. Craft a bow drill. Craft tinder. Uh, supply box. There's a stick. Someone, put, uh, oh, they put a log in the supply box. Okay, interesting. I guess that, I guess that could be good for us if we're gonna put stuff in the supply box later than we can. Uh, let's see, what's inside this? There's a tarp, tarp loot crate. We got rocks. We don't need any rocks right now, but I'll, I'll grab one just in case. Never know when I need to club the side of someone's head with a rock, I guess. That or some sort of animal trying to take us down or something like that. Let's see, we gotta look for um, leaves and a branch. There's all sorts of leaves around here, but oh, lots of rocks as well. 
Leaves. Two leaves. I'm gonna take all the leaves I can get. I'm just gonna. Everyone's just gonna run around. They're gonna see me and they're gonna go, oh, there's that guy with all the leaves in his backpack. He's crazy. Don't talk to him. Can I, uh, can I chop down? Nope. Gotta find, uh, we gotta find a branch, evidently. Looking for branches. Oh, there's lots of branches over here. Wow. Branch. Branches and leaves. All right. Press tab and navigate to bushcraft to craft tinder. Improvise tinder. Looks like a bunch of, bunch of millworms. All right. We made him. Is that it? Did we make it? Improvised bow drill. Is that, did we do it? Now we need three logs and more branches. Well, there are some more. Oh, there's logs too. Log, log, branch, 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 branch. Need two more. We got our logs and we need, okay, we did it. We can now make camp. Oh, look at this. That's camp. We're gonna go, or let's go put it by the ruined cabin. That way when the camping guy finally gets to us and says, hey, it's tomorrow now, where are you? I can go, yeah, we're by the ruined, ruined cabin or whatever. Look at that. Oh, look at it. it even got put together there. All right, so we can upgrade it. We can upgrade our, uh, our camp. We can turn it into an outpost. That's pretty cool. Improvised leaf bed. <laughs> Improvised log bed. Improvised leaves. Oh, yeah, it's not improvised. It's just the leaves cover. Um, moss cover and tarp cover. You have a lot of tarp, so we could use tarp if we wanted to. Um, okay. Campfire. Interact. And do we need to add fuel or just ignite? There we go. Bow drill ignition. Okay. And start fire. Oh! We've got fire. We need mushrooms. Of course. When you go camping, you need to you need to cook mushrooms. It's a given. Alright. Oh! There's a branch and mushrooms right next to each other. Right on. Okay. Here we go. Prepare. Grilled mushrooms. Bake recipe. Bake those mushrooms. Bake, bake, bake. How do we know when it's cooked? Like, oh, look at that. It's got a little wheel over it. Is that, is that cooking? I'm like trying to see if it's moving. You think it's moving? Oh, it is moving. It's moving, it's cooking. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's, uh, let's upgrade this camp. That would be fun. So we can, uh, we can add an improvised log bed by getting four logs and two tarps. Let's do that. That will be nice. Get ourselves a little bed to lay in. Improvised log bed. Is that a log? That is a log. Oh, I tell you what we can do. We can, uh, we can pin that recipe, can't we? Let's go see. Improvised log bed. Pin recipe. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty simple. That way we can, uh, remember what we need. So we need one more log. Hey, more leaves. Branch. You can never have enough branches. So that's what I'm always saying. Whenever I go camping, people are always wondering why I'm picking up branches everywhere I go. Okay. Cloth loot pile. Cloth. Rope loot pile. Okay. Log loot pile. Tarps. Where are you? Those rocks. Oh, tarp. And there we go. All right. Improvised log bed. Don't mind if I do. Look at that. Now we got a little log bed. That's going to be great. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. We can uh, add a roof to this thing. Uh, if we can find some more tarp, we can just do a tarp cover. Or we could turn this into an outpost. That would be kind of fun. Let's, um, let's try to do that. Or, what about our mushrooms? Are they about done? They're about done. Outpost. Pin the recipe. All right. Four ropes. We got lots of ropes around here. Rock pile. Cloth loot crate. Supply box. Got a stick in there. 
almost have enough rope now. Lots of tarps. Good to see. Lots of tarp. Oh man. Unless we can make some improvised rope, I think we might be out of luck. Oh, look at that. We found enough rope. And we need two more branches. Branches, branches, oh, branch. Where would a wild branch be out in the forest? That's why I keep asking myself. If I was a branch, where would I be? There's a log. See, I was thinking, well, maybe the branches would be, oh, wild beavers, holy schmoly. I'm gonna cut down my legs. Just kidding. Here we go. Sticks, branches. Yes, here we go. Outpost time. Let's turn this bad boy into an outpost. Outpost. And our mushrooms are done. Grilled mushrooms. A boom shakalaka. Uh, upgrade outpost. That, um... That camp guy is gonna be so surprised when he gets over here. Look at that. He even went out and found some antlers to put on here. I don't, I don't remember that being part of the building process. All right, top notch. Well, that's all done. What else can we do? Reinforced outpost, what? That's crazy. Allow you to add a water collector. Okay, so we can add a stash box. We can add a growth patch. We can grow mushrooms, what? A lamp? We can add a lamp to this? Let's go get some tarps and add a tarp cover so that we can, you know, if it rains, we'll be okay. Camping. Camping stuff. Tarps. Two tarps stored. Four tarps stored, I bet. I don't have the right recipe pinned, but I bet I bet this is good. Alright, tarp cover. And upgrade. And just like that, a tarp cover. Boom! Shakalaka. I say uh, we should probably save now. Let's go ahead and just choose this MD slot here. Was that really it? Was that that was fast. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Boy, it did not take long at all to save. All right, top notch. I wish. Um, oh, it was as simple as that. There we go. And now we got the unpinned recipe, and we can just play again. Wow, that was really easy. We've uh, we've worked up a little bit of a thirst. Um, I'm not sure what the uh, the third one is it has a little like crossing uh, Jimmy Neutron loading channel loading screen sort of thing um, But I tell you what if only there was oh, I guess here we go. So it's kind of around three o'clock I guess in the afternoon Hmm, maybe we should uh, see what else we can do. All right, so we can open up our tab here We can say missions ranger delivery um, rest till morning is all we have left. Okay. Oh, we got a little painting right here. Got some guns and a mean grizzly bear, it looks like. Uh, bushcraft, let's see. We can make an, uh, a bow and an arrow. That could be kind of cool. A wooden spear. Interesting. Stone knife, stone hatchet. Uh, antiseptic, lots of stuff. Uh, fishing pole. Ahem. <clears throat> we'll make a fishing pole. How do we use said fishing pole though? That is the question. Let's see, easy to make fishing pole. Whip. Do I need to like get worms or anything like that? Why are we walking so slow with it? Oh, he already has a worm. It looks like, anyway. Let's try to catch fish out here. This is so strange. We can see the worm. I feel like if we can see the worm, we should be able to see the fish, don't you think? A rock. Yeah, that's what. If we see a fish, we'll just toss a rock at it. There's a beaver in there. We are so stalking right now. Who wants the worm? I don't know if there's any fish in this pond. <laughs> there's water over here. Maybe there's a fish in here. There's jackrabbits. If we would have had a bow. We could have got a jackrabbit right now. What the heck was that? Oh, leap. Right on. Maybe there's some fish in here. 
Croak Song Bog. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely some fish in here. Come get the worm. Okay, fishing is still a fail. We're gonna go back to the cabin now. <laughs> We might just have to wait till later when we get some sort of tutorial on fishing, I guess. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and sleep and um, we'll just see what the ranger has to say in the morning. Oh, we can not sleep for very long. Campfire. Add fuel. Let's go get some logs. Whoa, we're sprinting. Got a few logs to add to the campfire. Is there a way we can see how long the campfire is going to last? Oh, we can see it right here. Okay, so it's starting to go down. It's almost at a halfway point. But we can add fuel at any point. That's good to see. It's good to know. Well, I guess we can just kind of explore for a little bit. We got logs. It's gonna say if we can find another branch or a couple of branches to add to the fire at some point during the night, that would be kind of nice. And then uh, maybe we can get some some gear to put together a bow and arrow or something like that. Oh, that's right. We need a we need more rope. Is there a way to make? Is there a way to make? Improvised rope? Dang. Could have made a bow, but we made a fishing pole. How dumb are we? All right, top notch. Well, um, we're a little bit thirsty, but we could just take a little bit of swig of this. A little bit of swig of the wool water bottle there. And uh, should be good to go. Let's, uh, let's take a rest. We're not going to sleep for very long. Oh, there we go. That'll get us till almost midnight. I guess that's as good as we're gonna get. <laughs> Hello, are you there? Sorry for the abrupt awakening. That's all right. Here's the packet. Thanks for taking the time to bring it over. So you're the ranger around these parts. Yeah, that's me, Ranger Ainsley. You know, these parts are beautiful and may seem quiet, but it can sure be busy work. It sure is. What brings you around these wilds? I just needed to get away for a while. Get away from the daily routine. I feel like I haven't had a rest as good as last night in years. I understand. You know, seeing as you're set for a change of pace, I could use a capable hand to help around. I'll reward your help, of course. You looking for a partner? Yeah. You could say that. How could I refuse a ranger? All right, then. Glad to hear. I'll be around the Snow Ridge Lodge later. Check with me, and I'm bound to find some work for you. In that case, I'll see you around. Excellent. Well, I got to head off. Duty calls. Take care, partner. Wow. We're already this guy's partner. We haven't even been, we, we just met the dude. Wow, this is crazy. I love how my character's voice is so deep. It makes me want to deepen my voice because I'm out in the outdoors. We're gonna run back to my Winnebago and go back to that old bar that we were just at. Let's continue on with the story. Sprinting. Well, there's like a pronghorn I can see mounted there. Welcome, Welcome back, and thanks for the help. I spoke with Ranger Ainsley, and he sounded quite pleased. Here's your reward. Thank you. First order of business will be to get our meat stocks back up. This past winter has left our humble establishment a little thin on the food front. There's plenty of small game out and about in this area if you know where to look. You can use that nifty RV of yours to get around most of these parts. Just tell me where to go and what to look for. Right. Let me show you on this here map. Look here. The place is called the Mellow Meadow. Plenty of rabbits out there. Here. Come back with some game meat. Half a dozen pieces more or less should do it. What sort of critters am I going to find around there? Oh, rabbits, woodchucks, and the likes. If you need more bullets, come back and I can give you more. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Or you could just give me more bullets right now. <laughs> hey, look at this. We got 10 skill points, 50 XP, and 50 bucks. All right, didn't even, didn't even feel like I did very much, but right on. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, got a lever action rifle. Very cool. So, uh, 
yeah, I guess we'll go shoot some rabbits and some woodchucks now. So let's, uh, let's get going, I suppose. Not much. The ranger said he would meet me up here, but I don't see him. So we're just going to keep on moving. This dude told me to go to the Mellow Meadow. Here we go. But we can't just go there. We're going to have to go to the panorama view. Travel from the panorama view down to the Mellow Meadow. Meadow Mellow. Mellow Meadow? Meadow Mellow. Definitely Mellow Meadows. All right. Top notch. So we can uh, get our lever action rifle together. We got 20 bullets for it. Top notch. Got a rifle out. We are ready for anything. Oh, look at this. Very cool. All right, so we need to head southeast to uh, head to the Mellow Meadow. And then we need to do a mission here. Food first. Go to the Mellow... Okay, we got to go to the Mellow Meadow before we can do anything else. So let's just do that. Okay, go to the Mellow Meadow. Shoot some rat... Oh, look at that. Already have a rabbit running away. Well... Being the professional, the hunter call, the wild player that I am, this shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Maybe stop running around there, sport. Is there a way to... Oh, we can crouch, too. But now we're being sneaky. Armadillo! That a rabbit or a butterfly? That's a rabbit! Boom! Headshot, headshot. Whoa, is that a fox? It's gonna attack! It's coming right for us! No, we're good. Okay, let's see. More rabbits, more rabbits, where are you? Boom up. Two. And three. Boom. -a. All donezo. Raw meat stored in the backpack, the old backpack. And uh, that's it. Mission complete. Obviously, no trouble there because I'm a professional. Oh, there's a rabbit. Yeah, I was going for a headshot there. That didn't work. God, there's so many of them. <laughs> no, we definitely had some trouble. All right. Anyway, you didn't see that. Moving on. All these different animals and stuff with the furs and all that sort. It kind of gets me excited, like, thinking, like, oh, my God, wouldn't it be cool if we could collect furs and then, like, I don't know, create some sort of fur vest or something? Some, some super outdoorsy you know <laughs> a big old a coon skin cap or something for our character that would be awesome there we go back to snow ridge lodge to get these rabbits to mr beard here hey the ranger's back 10 skill points 50 xp and 50 bucks easy peasy who should we talk to first gary or mr ainsley hello 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 all right guess we're talking to gary Oh, sounds like something that ought to get done. It certainly it does. does. Here's what? the gist of it. I need you to head on down to Greenhoof Sanctuary. It's an old place which used to be used to offer shelter to injured wildlife and the likes. It's been sold oh, off wow. to a new investor, and I have some supplies left around there. I need you to head on over there and gather them up. Are these supplies easy to carry? Well... No, but there's an ATV parked up down there. Take it for a spin around Green Hoof and load all the supplies you can on the ATV. Drive them back to the front of the sanctuary and I'll take care of the rest. Hmm, well, all right then. I'll get on it. Wonderful. I'll be waiting here for when it'll all be done. This dude is so trustworthy. He, like, hands us a gun and then he's like, Oh, yeah, just go grab my ATV and fix it. I love this guy. Gary is my spirit animal. Here we go. We're going to uh, move on up the stairs, I guess. Do we we need more ammo? We used a bunch of it, didn't we? Gary. Ammo, please. For the gun. 
Ah, uh, back to Mellow Hills. We need to go to. I guess we'll go to Panorama View and go from there. I suppose. Predators, black bear, bobcat, coyote, wolf. Yeah, this is why we needed more weapons, Gary. All right, lever action rifle in the backpack there. So let's see here. We need to go to Power Dam. Travel to the dam. All right, we need to go pretty much straight north from here. The upbeat this music is. Good old travel music is what it is. Here we go. Power Dam. Making our way through Power Dam. Okay, you see those little swirls out there? Is that where the fish are supposed to be or something? Look at this thing. You are near Power Dam. Fine. Oh, I didn't even know we were supposed to get that. Was this actually a mission? Was this like blocking the path to the place that we're going to or something? Oh, yeah, climb that rock. What should we name this guy? This guy have a name. I'm thinking something like Clint. Something, something super outdoorsy. Clint. Oak fish. Clint Oak fish. Let's go with Clint Oak fish. This is. This guy is a total Clint Oakfish. What's up, Clint? All right, here we go. We're uh, we supposed to go back to the Snow Ridge Lodge? I thought we were going to get an ATV, but now we're... Oh, we can see our weapons. That's cool. 2.3 reload time, 3.2 fire rate, six rounds, condition 100%. We can see the fridge, we can see the trunk. Wardrobe, oh, look at this, there is a wardrobe. That's awesome. We have a warm, temperate, and cold, so that kind of gives you an idea of like kind of areas we're gonna be traveling in at some point. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in Mellow Hills, of course. Now we just need to find Green Hoof Sanctuary. Where is that? Hey, look at that! Look at so easy, so easy. Hello, 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 Miss Finley, are you here? Yeah, just a sec. You here on behalf of Gary? Indeed I am. All right, listen. I'm super busy doing this place up, so here are the keys to the ATV. It's parked just outside. you find Gary's stuff in the back. Go pick it up, drop it off. Uh, thanks. Anything else? Yeah, don't scratch my baby. Of course. <laughs> These characters are killing me. All right, uh, so... This this gal's super busy, so she's just gonna hand the keys to her ATV off to a total stranger, basically. That's cool. Uh, we're so we're here at Green Hub Sanctuary. We're um yeah using the ATV to collect the toolbox from the tool shed. Okay, see how loud this is. Whoa! Oh! What? <laughs> we barely made that. <laughs> Oh my god. Where are we going? This way? Through the water! Yeah! Up, over! And excellent. Just like my driving exam in high school all right and get off super easy hey look the yellow target range atv cargo interact anyway look at that just threw right on there that's what i like to see anything in here that we can uh borrow totally just borrow it nope okay and now we're leaving oh okay and out this way, and back over here. Whoa, big ramp! Oh, okay, not a, not a ramp. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Um, <laughs> I've never been good at driving games on PC. I usually have to switch to a controller. So you guys playing on console and whatnot, you'll be super lucky. 
totally did not scratch her baby just as she requested. We're gonna move over to this barn, I guess. Outdoor drives green hoof. This is where we're supposed to. Oh, I yeah, should bring the ATV closer. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, Clint. Fine. Jeez. All right, ATV cargo is all loaded up. Let's go, Clint. We have to bring it to Amy, is that it? Yep. Dropped off your ATV, <clears throat> scratch free. <laughs> totally good. scratch free. I look forward to seeing what Barry will do with those supplies. Hey, by the way, come around here again whenever you want to try some of my vehicle tracks. Check out the track list brought up on the wall over there. Be my times if you can. I'm working on finding new drive routes around these parts. Okay. Back to Snow Ridge Lodge. Talk to Gary. Welcome, Welcome back, back again. Thank you so much for helping with those supplies. I'll put them to good use on starting renovation on this here place. Oh, you're thinking of making some improvements. Buddy, this place will be unrecognizable. Here's something for your help. Thanks, Thanks. Gary. Another 50 XP, another 50 bucks, 10 skill points again. What do we, we gotta start spending these skill points. Look at all these people showed up out of nowhere. They're like, oh, man. Do you think these are the regulars or do you think they just showed up because we were here and we're super cool? Go cool, Clint Oakfish here. Okay, well, top notch. As you can tell, hey. there's lots of stuff going Hello on in this there. game. Oh, Nancy Dean's trying to talk. She wants to trade. I'll trade with you, Nancy Dean. She's got a good hatchet, a good knife. And another rifle. 755 bucks, though? We don't even have anything to sell. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Are these uh, potential romantic options? Oh, never mind. Hey. What about you, though? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I tell you what. I think this is a great start, everyone. Hey. Um, as you can tell, we've got tons of stuff going on. we got skills, too. Let's look at skills. Got sneak survival skills, weapon skills. Crafting skills, nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills. Uh, it's like, oh, did I choose that? I didn't mean to choose that, but maybe it's good to choose it. Increases the amount of time it takes for buildings to decay. Might be an okay thing to have. Outdoorsman progression, you can see we're uh, leveling up as well. I tell you what, it's pretty cool, everyone. If you want to learn more about this game, about uh, Open Country by 505 Games, then make sure you check out the link below in the description. Check out the game for yourself. It's going to be $15 and is available today, as far as I'm aware, anyway, uh, June 10th, uh, 2021. So make sure if you're interested in the game, 15 bucks. What can you say? I mean, that's pretty cheap. Uh, try the game out. It looks like it's going to be a fun little story here. At least a different type of outdoor game in comparison to the ones we're used to playing. So if you want to continue watching me play the story, though, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you enjoyed it. We'll definitely continue playing through the campaign of Open Country so that we can kind of see what this is all about. The characters are fun. The, uh, the art style is interesting. There's evidently, let me just look this up here. There are five different melee weapons, 12 different guns, three handguns, three rifles, three shotguns, and three bows. So I guess 12 different ranged uh, weapons, I suppose. There's 11 different weapon skills, 17 different survival skills, two crafting skills. Um, and each of those skills has three upgrades, which cost skill tokens, which we obviously got in the uh in the missions and whatnot so uh yeah so that's gonna be pretty cool there are fishing um there's no fishing in the winter biome though but there will be uh fishing in the other biomes which we only visited one in this uh little video we did so far so there are lots of different fish species as well perch smallmouth bass largemouth bass cutthroat trout rainbow trout walleye pike just to name 
uh, a few anyway it's gonna be a great little game for 15 bucks you can't say no I mean this looks this looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm looking forward to uh, kind of playing out the rest of it I you know you play such open-ended games like some of the other uh, hunting and fishing games out there that uh, you see on our channel all the time and it's kind of nice just to have a little story driven campaign but also you can tell that there is a little bit of just open-endedness to this as well you could just go out and hunt or you could go out and fish if you want to or just go out and camp or something as well you know the whole idea is that you're a guy from the city looking to escape out into the outdoors and just relax and that's what the outdoors is all about disconnect turn the phone off just relax listen to the birds listen to the wind enjoy the sun go fishing you know go hiking that's what this game's all about and I'm super excited about it so like I said if you're wanting to learn more about the game click that link down in the description if you're wanting to watch more of the campaign more of the story make sure you're subscribed to the BZ hub so that you can watch any future videos coming out in the future of course and uh that's gonna do it everyone comment down below what you think of this game so far does it look like something that you might try is it what do you think about the price point? what do you think about uh biomes what do you think about fishing i'm eager to hear all of it hunting you know weapons all that sort of things it's all gonna be pretty interesting and of course you know this is the very beginning who's to say they don't add on more you know could be really cool so like i said like subscribe comment See you in the next episode, everyone. Take care, and as always, remember everyone. We're one planet, one family, game on.